A galaxy that died abruptly may have fallen victim to a mysterious force, present in space since its early formation. Researchers believe that a massive black hole is the main villain behind the superactivity of galaxy GS9209, as well as its sudden death. Watch until the end to understand how this force practically swallowed the galaxy and why it's such a hot topic in science. What if something similar happened to the Milky Way? Find out at the end of the video. The same galaxy that we presented in the video, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope just discovered how the Big Bang could be wrong. The controversial GS9209 continues to perplex researchers around the world for several reasons. JWST was able to find a lot of relevant data due to its high technology. There is nothing new in this search for stars and even galaxies that disappear. Already in 1993, Hubble noticed the disappearance of a star and scientists started to be more attentive to check if other stars had the same fate. It was in 2007 that the phenomenon repeated and drew more attention from researchers. The fact that seemed curious was the disappearance of not just one, but two stars in approximate locations. Worse, in similar periods, but with a time interval between one and the other, raising the suspicion that they would not have been eliminated by the same force. The search for more of these stellar deaths continued, but it wasn't until the JWST was launched into space and headed towards the same point where events took place earlier that we were able to understand a little more about the mysterious disappearance. But more questions arose along with the findings. Scientists said that not only stars, but an entire galaxy had become extinct. Most perplexing was that the galaxy had been highly productive and efficient in an earlier period of the universe, just 600 million years after the Big Bang. That shouldn't be possible according to astronomers. But what comes easy, goes easy, right? After just 200 million years, in which the formation of matter equivalent to 40 billion solar masses took place, taking our sun as a reference, 800 million years after the Big Bang, all activity in the galaxy simply ceased. The James Webb Space Telescope, located 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, uses advanced technology to capture light in the infrared spectrum, invisible to the human eye. It is interesting to note that, in order for there to be no interference from infrared radiation emitted by itself, by the Earth, by the Moon, or by the Sun, the JWST had to be manufactured to withstand very low temperatures operating at a temperature of negative 233 Celsius. For this, it also had to be well positioned between Earth, the Sun, and the Moon, in addition to having a shield as big as a tennis court, which protects it from sunlight and prevents overheating. And the entire structure had to be meticulously planned and executed, so that the telescope could also withstand the heat and pressure of a space launch. Also, the device was not shipped assembled, it was necessary to design it in such a way as to allow for compactness with 18 gold-plated hexagonal panels that, when joined together, formed the same image again and again, guaranteeing exceptional quality. And one of the major concerns was that the protective shield, made up of layers of aluminum-coated band, would burst or suffer damage when the structure was opened, a problem that had already happened in tests while still on Earth. We can see that its launch was a complete success and that JWST is already bringing valuable information about a curious galaxy, highly productive right after the Big Bang and quickly extinguished. And of course, the launch was a moment of great tension in which more than two decades of work and more than $10 billion invested were put to the test. Luckily, everything went well and researchers can count on reliable source of quality images. Now, let's take a look at this hot information that the device was able to provide us as we calmly understand why the Galaxy GS9209 is so different and has caused so much controversy in the scientific world. But first, don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to stay connected to the best and most simplified content about space news. Nothing is guaranteed since we could be wrong about everything we theorized so far, both inside and outside of the Earth. But the safest answer, according to the experts, is to believe that the big villain is a black hole, or rather, black holes, one for each galaxy. According to researchers, there are usually large black holes inside galaxies, formed from the collapse of stars. 
the black hole would be a good explanation for the galaxy's high productivity at such a remote time. Before killing it, the black hole might have been able to catalyze its star formation. With friction with other materials such as gas, dust, and even other black holes, a black hole can become massive and therein lies the danger. When a black hole reaches such measurements, it generates a lot of energy and its relationship with the galaxy becomes a dangerous, even fatal, symbiosis. But how does the black hole have all this impact? Well, to understand how it kills a galaxy, we first need to be clear in our minds about what the natural behavior of an active galaxy is like. During the entire period of a new star formation, it is correct to call the galaxy alive or active. In this process, the cold, dense gas collapses and forms stars. However, with the presence of large black holes, the formation of jets of matter occurs and are capable of heating the gas and preventing the formation of new stars. It's difficult to assume responsibility that this is definitive, given that we are just at the beginning of space exploration and that our technology has only begun to reach these ancient points since the recently launched JWST. Likewise, we can assume with 100% certainty that a similar process could or could not occur closer to the Milky Way or even within it. The Milky Way also has a supermassive black hole right at the center of it, in the most tumultuous region of the galaxy where many stars, clouds of gas, dust, bubbles, supernova, and even other black holes are formed. Its name is Sagittarius A and, lucky for us, it's not that active. From time to time, it seems to feed on stars or other matter, a process that makes it shine brighter. The object most likely to be swallowed by the black hole is X7, the unknown object seen in its orbit. Although astronomers have not definitively discovered what this object is, it is most likely the result of a merger of two stars, a common process in space, aggregated with gas and dust. The interesting thing about this object, which has been studied for two decades, is the phenomenon it undergoes being stretched towards the black hole. Scientists are excited to track X7's path over the next 13 years, estimating that by 2037 it will disintegrate and be swallowed by the black hole. This type of event can take about 10,000 years to happen again, and that is why researchers are excited about the idea of witnessing the event, considering this to be one of the best periods to work and study in the field of astronomy. The continuous study of black hole inside our galaxy can help us understand many factors of the space universe. And who knows, bring much scientific news about the formation of the universe and its course. But what about us? Should we worry that the Earth will be swallowed by Sagittarius A? No. A black hole is only capable of swallowing objects that are very close to it, and between it and the Earth there is a great distance, so rest assured. Even most objects in the galaxy's center, which are much closer to it, don't have to worry anytime soon. But back to the main subject, the mysterious force that killed GS9209. We still have a lot to explore. The JWST should continue to follow the galaxy and in 2028 or 2029, a new and more modern telescope should be launched into space in Chile. It is the Giant Magellanic Telescope, or GMT, four times the size of the James Webb. With it, new possibilities will emerge. After carefully analyzing the data provided by the telescope, astrophysicist at the Royal Observatory, Adam Carnall, said that the supermassive black hole, called Quasar, was the only process that researchers could deduce concerning the laws of astrophysics that are known so far. This is basically the only process that we can think is capable of injecting enough energy into the galaxy's gas over a short space of time to either heat it up such that it doesn't collapse to form any more stars, or to completely clear the galaxy out of star-forming gas. Did you also feel like following these black holes closely? Well, just don't get too close. A safe distance seems more interesting. But let us know in the comments what intrigued you the most and why. And if you liked the video and want to know more about space research, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And we will continue to bring you hot and exciting news.